Hi guys, I'm back again today with another reaction video and today we're reacting to Malaysia street food um, Junker walk Excuse me, I don't know what that means Probably it's a street So let me know guys in the comment section down below But anyways, I'm really excited to check this out It's been a while since we reacted to street food or food or Malaysia in general So anyways, before we do start off, I guess subscribe if you haven't already Click that bell button to get notified whenever I do upload a video Anyways guys, let's check this out Oh, fried ice cream I've seen this before, but I've never been, like, I've never tried or wanted to try. <laughs> but that looks, oh, it's already made. You just fry it. Ignore my beautiful, how do you call this again? Leggings? That looks amazing. Very unhealthy, but amazing. It's like a pancake. Oh, I'm gonna try though. Oh, yes. Why is the music in the background reminding me of Squid Games for some reason? It's like the beginning of a game. Like when the members or the co competitors, contestants, whatever, they come outside or they go into this room. Fried ice cream is seventy-two dollars. Peppermint. You could have chosen chocolate, to be honest, but peppermint is not bad. Chinese burger. Whoa! What do you mean Chinese burger? How is it Chinese? Oh, I want that thing. I want to use it to fry eggs because it's way better. You can fry like freaking nine eggs at a time. Oh. What's that spam? And then, um, yes, I see that at like the bakery. Floss. There we go. Mm. Oh, maybe that's why it's Chinese because it has a floss thing. Oh, so it's egg on egg? Is it egg on egg? Oh, that looks so good though. That looks so good. Again, very unhealthy. <laughs> oh, so he does put something underneath. Okay. Because I only saw the egg part, so... There is like a pancake mix. Oh, that was. Oh, that will. Oh, that would be so good. Oh, he brings it back because it's egg, right? So he brings it back. Uh huh. Oh, I try so badly. This is, he got the system down for sure. Oh, we have different, um, oh, I want this vlog is so relaxed because nobody's talking, so I can talk. <laughs> what is this? She's doing um carving like she's a carpenter right now. What is this? Like peanut maybe? Why is there a lot of Chinese um Chinese Japanese food? Let me know guys. Is it like the Chinese community part or let me know or is it just this market sells 
uh this type of food because i see here there's um i think it is chinese um characters and i'm hungry so i keep swallowing right <laughs> she definitely is a carpenter like this is not food you are lying oh maybe it's caramel Yes. Biscoff? No. <laughs> Maybe. This looks so familiar. It's like Yemma, but I don't know. Oh my gosh, the way she just put that in is amazing. are you i'm so curious at this point you know what's like watching them i'm like i just want to go to the market i say that now because this is like the life we have right but I, i'm just like oh it'd be nice to just go to the market with my plate of sweets watching some youtube video where i start carving away candy and selling it on the streets like it sounds like a dream to me right now what is that it's like a candy it's like a lollipop ding ding candy well you didn't tell me what it is so what am i supposed to do here i didn't get anything from that oh it's like the dalgoda candy sweet squid game vibes oh maybe that is it but it's already breaking up for you maltose candy okay sounds like lactose so i don't know oh it's soft oh it's a heart did he make a heart or was it a heart all this time? <gasps> oh, interesting. I don't know how to associate that. Oh, buko, which is coconut in the Philippines. Okay, so we, it looks like we have different ways of like cutting coconut. Oh, it's the same actually. Okay. Oh, it's the same. I was gonna say maybe we serve the coconuts differently it's quite different to be honest but kind of the same as well <laughs> i know i confused you yeah the same it makes sense now you can just remove it as a whole right oh oh not the same because we get our coconut already as a ball like that or with a not <laughs> with a shell there we go you either get it with a shell and they cut off in the on top of small hole and then it's up to you to like let them break it into half and eat it there or take it home right or you can also buy it as a as a, the nut in itself which is the white thing and then poke a straw through it and then drink it and then eat your coconut but we never get this show and we don't get it in a bowl or a cup and we don't get a man dancing there for you. Oh, unfair. Like, why did they do this? Why are they making coconut so boring? He, look at him. He is like... I've never seen coconut... That is high. He definitely needs to join the Olympics. Coconut throwing olympics but then if he's gonna serve you this coconut the juice is already left but i bet he's not gonna serve us right <laughs> that is one dollar okay same price actually more expensive probably the same one dollar twenty yeah probably same here because here's like 45 to like 60 pesos depend where you buy it 
good. Coconut nut is a giant nut. If you eat a lot, you're gonna get. Oh gosh, that's cute. Oh, ice cream. What kind of ice cream is this though? Oh, I've never seen ice creams like this. We usually have ours in like plastics or popsicles. Yeah, we always like we call it ice candy. It's in a plastic. We never have it like that. What is this? Shawmai. I know Shawmai. We have hot dogs, obviously, but the rest, I I cannot tell you what it is. I think we have fish cakes. Oh, that is um, the blood, right? We have similar street food, except the okra and pig's, pig's blood, yes. And then dumpling, okay. Pig's blood, uh-huh, no thank you. Oh, you have oyster as a street food? What is this sorcery? How can you just get oyster in streets? Is that oyster? I'm not bougie enough to know all these shimankles. Oyster, yeah. Oh, mamacita, I love oyster. Like with cheese. Oh, anyways. I'm getting goosebumps because of oysters. I don't remember the last time I had seafood, that's why. Oh, durian ice cream. I love durian flavor, but I don't love the fruit. It's I'm weird, yes. I love the flavor, but I don't like the fruit. Oh, it looks like candy. I forgot that it was an ice cream. That looks so good. The way that they make it look like durian itself is amazing. Oh, so that street is called Junker Walk. Junker? I wanna watch more. It's I love this channel. So calm, collected, peaceful. They're just eating and showing us beautiful food. So let me know if you want to see more of their uh vlogs because I'm really really excited to check them out. And there's so much more food that um we need to like be accustomed to. But let me know what is that candy thing, the one that the lady was carving. Let me know that it's really really interesting. It looks really good as well. Um I've never tried a fried ice cream. I want to try that. Uh, coconut, of course, we have coconut here. And the other stuff that was on the, you know, the dumpling station, I want to try that, especially the pepper. And then there was like white stuff inside. I want to see what that is all about. It sounds very interesting. That's so much more variety than we have here. When it comes to street food, you're basically we don't have much to be honest it's more of like barbecues and fish ball um coconut is not quite a street food to be honest um we have a lot of what do we have i don't even i can't even think right now probably a lot as well but i just can't think but it seems like there's more variety over there because we have chinese influence we have malay we have um indian okay malaysia is full of like culture and different kind of like cuisine so i'm really excited but anyways if you like this video don't forget to give this video a thumbs up subscribe if you haven't already i'll see you in the next video bye